Dobré ráno. Já vám všem moc děkuji, že jste dorazili. So nice to see so many of you here today to help welcome Dr. Lawrence Krauss. I hope you will have questions to predict so But he's in on vacation, it's not on professional visit. So thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. We don't mention enough the fact that most scientific ideas are wrong. In fact, most observations are wrong when they're first made. What's great, though, about science is that we find out the wrong, and we're willing to change our minds and even take a beautiful idea that we love and throw it out. To me, that's one of the most beautiful things about science is that we can change our minds openly. No, 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 no,
But that's what teachers should do. But I want to tell you something that amazed me when I was in high school, and it's stuck with me ever since. I learned it from a famous astrophysicist named Tommy Gold, who was a... Black holes seem very exotic, right? Because they're very dense. Light can't escape. If you took our sun and you collapsed it to the size of Prague, it would be a black hole. And every teaspoonful of material would weigh millions and millions of tons. Okay, that's very exotic. But the properties of a black hole depend upon how massive a black hole is. If you took all the mass in our galaxy and compressed it to be a black hole, at the time it became a black hole, the average density of the material would be the density of water. If you took a black hole of the mass of our entire universe and asked what its average density would be, it would, within a factor of two, be the density of our observable universe. So we could be living inside a black hole. It's not too bad. And sometimes I wish we, in TV, would, would spend more time on ideas and less time on pictures. I think because we all grew up in this generation, especially young people, watching TV and graphics, we need that kind of stuff. But the ideas are what matters, and so sometimes you have to use the words. We have to move into a world that's more sustainable. Sustainable in terms of our, not only just our economy, but in terms of energy and the environment. That's not going to be easy. Um, but it's, it's going to be, it's going to happen because, in part, by changes in the economic system, but also in part by having young kids who have good ideas and, 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 and have goals that, 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 are, that, are, that produce a more sustainable world for all of us. If we had more role models that kids could aspire to who were, who were doing something else, who were working hard in science and engineering, and so it would be nice in some ways, much as I am suspicious of celebrity, and I say that with the recognition that I have celebrity, but at the same time, I think it's good that there's some people like me that have celebrity who are scientists, because maybe it encourages some young kids to go into science. I know that in my case, it was precisely that. It was people like Richard Feynman and, and people I'd heard of who, who became role models for me. There's a lot to learn, and there's a lot for young people still to learn. <laughs>